Hey you guys, today on Pro Tip Tuesday is all about selecting a good background anywhere for your subject. Hey guys, welcome back to Focus with GK. I am George and over my career I know that picking a background while I'm on location is sometimes one of the hardest things to do. And I had to create a hashtag for myself that kind of explains my style and it also becomes a rule for me to follow, which is hashtag simple, clean, beautiful. If it's simple, in other words, it's not crazy looking backgrounds with your subject or it's not over graphically done digitally, then it's simple clean. If it's clean, clean to me means lighting is good, posing looks natural even though you may have directed or posed somebody and it works with your background um, that is clean. It's a clean photograph. It was, it was done well. Um, easy on the eyes. Then it's gonna be beautiful. It's been life-changing in my business because when I get to a location I kinda wonder if it works. It's the first thing I think of. Is this simple enough? Am I going to shoot it clean enough at this spot? If so, it's going to be beautiful. Anybody that comes in the studio, I want the image to be about the person, not so much of the background. It has become something my clients expect from me. So look at this image, and this was on location. This was actually inside a building. It has brick walls on the inside. It's a fabulous building. Lighting is wonderful and this wall was a single color of paint and the color of the wall actually matches a piece of her bouquet and that's what I'm looking for is cohesiveness as far as what works from the background to the foreground what ties into my subject what are my color tones that is where the simple clean comes in this other shot of my uh, senior here in the studio I like a good paper roll background because it's extremely clean and all I have to worry about is my subject, lighting, and expression. On this image here, you can it, it really works because the couple sees themselves, they're not focusing on the background. In my eyes, your background should complement your subject. It shouldn't it shouldn't try to coexist with your subject because then your eyes are really playing on where to look at. All right, you guys, so that is my pro tip of today. Follow my hashtag, simple, clean, and it's going to be beautiful, and you're going to be all right. Uh, I got something coming to you later on during the week, some behind-the-scenes vlog, but some more pro tips coming to you every Tuesday. See you next time on Focus with GK.